Let's clarify the upcoming Suku releases and I will also tell you honest opinions about my latest Suku purchases. So as usual, Suku is releasing a pre-holiday collection and a holiday collection. The pre-holiday collection is the UK collection and that means that has been designed by Western makeup artists. Usually it's Hulk makeup, but I'm not sure it's not confirmed. I'm not sure yet. I've seen from an Instagram account that I will link here that the collection is made up of many things and the most interesting one are the, to me, are the two quads. So there are two quads and also two blushes in the pure color formula. And then two cream eyeshadows, the tone touch eyes, two vibrant rich lipsticks and two treatment dropping lip, lip oils. I mainly focus here on the quads especially. So let's see the quads, 129 and 130. Actually the 129, that is the one we have more images of, it reminds me of the Chantecaille Giraffe, while the 130 with gold and silver seems more festive. I will skip these. I won't buy Suku for a while and the reason is it's practically impossible to get it here and I'm not willing to pay extra customs because of that. The only way not to pay customs or extra expenses is purchasing Suku from Cult Beauty and Cult Beauty does not have pre-holiday collections, so those UK collections. Other honest opinions here, I don't like Shantekai in general for the simple reason that it's overpriced. This is the only quad that I have. It's not the giraffe one, but it's hummingbird, the warm one. Microscopical <laughs> size of the eyeshadows. You can get a quad with a bigger size, much more amount of product with half price if you check the new Paco Rabanne range. And of course, I believe that Suku is mm, such a better choice. I'm tempted by 129, but not sure if I'm willing to pay extra for that. 130 is a no for me, simply because I don't like two colors out of the four and the other two are quite common. So this is one collection, the pre-holiday collection. And then, a little bit later on, a Japanese collection, the official holiday collection, will be released. The pre-holiday can be purchased in November, early November, and a couple of weeks later, the holiday collection is available. And as usual, there will be kits. The official Japanese releases by Suku, usually for holidays, come with kits. They are mm, sometimes experimental products that maybe they will be released in the future. In this case, there are two kits. For every kit, there's one palette, one highliner, and one cream blush in a mini size. The mini size is convenient for a cream blush. The problem is that usually I'm interested only in the palettes. In previous year, it happened that only one of the two kits was available on Cult Beauty. The first kit we are talking about is the kit that as the palette 131 and this palette has a blue together with the palette there's also a blue eyeliner it is actually a desaturated light blue and the blush is amazing peachy neutral peachy brown i think that two of the colors the two middle colors can be more or less duplicated with this old quad that i have that is 111 and again was from one kit from, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. It was 111 and it's the quad with orange. Actually, this color story reminds me of a Prada quad, but I'm pretty happy with this color story that I think I will skip the Prada because I don't like the Prada formula. I much prefer Suku and I will stick to this, but I think that that greenish taupe that is in the new quad 131 is kind of similar to this one. Let me try to, to swatch this. There's artificial light, but guys, I work all day full time, so that's the best I can do now.
So these two colors, and that are very sparkly, these two remind me a bit of the two central colors of the swatches that I found on Instagram. Then there's a purple and a blue. And those colors, yeah, I don't think I own them in this range. It is the latest range. It is a signature, signature color eyes. But I think I can find similar colors in my older Suku palettes. Personally, my honest opinion is that this kit is a waste. I would like to just pick the quad and leave the rest. Now that I'm thinking better about it, I have this palette that I have just purchased, just arrived by Bobbi Brown. It's the Moonstone Glow Luxe Eye and Cheek Palette. There's a blue here and there's a kind of lavender. So it's a combo that has been explored with other brands. It may be a market trend. So I have already something brand new just arrived. I haven't even swatched yet. This is the other kit and it has the purple palette. I don't know, but I think that if Cult Beauty has one kit, it may be this one. It has a yellowish blush, a purple eyeliner that honestly from the swatches, it seems a gray. And then we have a quad with a white, a gray, and then a yellow and a purple. It's a combo that I've seen in old Suku. I'm less interested in this kit. So I may just pick the other one, I may skip both of them, or I may pick both of them, I don't know yet. If I had a limited budget, let's say, I would pick both of these kits and 129 from the pre-holiday. My latest purchases are actually the quads from the fall collection. And these quads, I have some thoughts. I use the quads in a similar way. I use the top two shades here and the top two shades here. In this case, I use also the brown, but this is warmer from this quad and I don't like it. So I still use this one with these two colors. And the truth is that on the highs, if you use these as eyeliners, you can't detect the difference of these. I purchased this because of a regret. I regret not to have purchased a quad by Pat McGrath with an amazing shimmery high shadow that was called Lavendering. And I thought that this quad contained this one that should have a lavender hue, but to me this is almost a gray. And let me show you the comparison. So swatched, you can see the, com the difference. So this is a greenish gray from this quad that by the way is number 128. And this one is the gray from the quad 127. But on the eyes, they're not so different. You can definitely see the differences watched, but less of a difference once on the eyes. The reality is I may have skipped this one. The gray in this is prettier in my opinion compared to the gray in this one. The reality is I didn't need this one. Let me do a comparison that I think is meaningful. That is this one compared to this Tom Ford one that I haven't even Oh my gosh, open it. It's this Violette Satiné. It's another quad that I purchased because I didn't purchase the, the Pat McGrath one. So see, when you skip something, sometimes it's better to just buy the quad that you want because you end up spending much more with dupes, let's say, especially if they are high-end. Okay, amazing, <laughs> amazing texture here. Let me see, this was the purplish gray and let me swatch this side by side. So this is even more purplish, the Tom Ford and less sparkly. So this is still artificial lightning and this is a whiter light. My favorite out of the grays is the Tom Ford one, that is the bottom one, the most lavender. 
And now that I'm here, I would like to also swatch the liquid eyeshadows, the liquid, the new liquid eyeshadow 101 by Suku. Let me swatch it in the middle in between the two grays. So I also purchased this one that is the 101. Here. So this is the applicator that is slanted. Do you see a difference? I mean, I think it's totally different, but maybe because it's darker, but I find it closer to the top one. So what do you think? I think they are totally different things in that the glitters, the powder glitters are yeah, I have a more transparent base while the liquid eyeshadow is the same thing, but with the gray base. Uh, in terms of sparkles, yeah, they are multicolored, but in, in both cases. So I think what really changes among the three Suku ones is the base is the base color. In the top powder one, there's a, that greenish gray. Middle one, the liquid eyeshadow, there's a neutral gray, more charcoal gray. And the bottom one is a, a lavender gray. But the shimmer is multicolored, as usual with Suku, you see? the tone 4 that doesn't have that complexity in sparkles. I mean, you won't notice this complexity unless you are very close to the eyes of the woman that wears Suku. That's what I love about this brand. I hope this was helpful and see you next time. Bye-bye.